So we have a surprise that we have Android 16's first look in the terms of developer beta in the form of developer beta. So if you are using Google Pixel 6 or later, you can try out Android 16's first developer beta in case you want to. But although it is definitely not recommended because it's a first preview and also it is not having any major changes. But for the users who are looking forward to how Android 16 is going on and what about Android 16's first look, let's have a quick look at some of the things included in this one. First of all, you will find notification cooldown. Definitely, it's not a new thing. It is already there even with Android 15, but then it was just gone back. I still remember in the developer betas of Android 15, this feature was there, but then it was just not coming. It was not there in the stable version as far as I know. So we have this new, this new menu actually. It's available there, notification cooldown, new animated options are available there. You can see how this thing will go on. And secondly, what I found here, maybe I just found right now, maybe it's not the part of Android 16, but you can see this new animation. Whenever I opening lock screen, and by the way, for you in for your information, I do not have always on display enabled. So in case of always on display, I remember this kind of animation. But without always on display, this animation seems quite interesting one. This is a part of Android 16 as far as I know. Another thing is we do not have any other thing. Yes, that is the thing. We do not have any other things because it's just a developer beta. It's a developer preview. So as expected, we do not have anything. But in case you are wondering about this mods option, it's already there with Android 15's beta update. So some of the features are already there with Android 15 QPR updates. For example, right now, while making this video, we have Android 15's QPR 2 beta 1 going on where this modes feature was introduced, which is also a part of iOS. Uh, what this is, we have custom mods available and this thing actually named focus mode in iOS, but in Android, we have simple mods. So which means you can customize the mods, you can choose your custom mod, how the things will go on. You can interact, you can do a lot of things. You can customize a lot of things. Up upgraded version of do not disturb in simple words. Other than else, you can see new settings UI was already introduced with Android 15's beta versions. Also, the new volume panel is also there. And yes, in case you are wondering about Android 16 major changes, uh, that is not going come. That is not going to come very soon. That might come with the beta updates, especially with the beta one or beta two. In case you don't know, I made a video on Android 16 news that Android 16 is coming very, very soon. I made a video some days ago. And yes, you can check out that one for sure in case you want to know more about the, the things that Android 16 might give you two releases in one year. So as far as I know, we might get two developer betas. For example, this is the first one. Second one will be the Android Android 16's developer preview 2, which might come with the December, might come in December. And then in January, we might get the public beta 1. In February, public beta 2. March, public beta 3. And April might be the fourth beta or somewhere in June, you might get the stable release of Android 16, uh, which is actually quite a month earlier. You can say three months earlier because Android 15 was released quite late, maybe with the October, especially for the Pixel devices or even for an AOSP form, it was there with September. So uh, if this is actually true that we are getting Android 16 in June 2025, that would be quite exciting one. So yes, in case it is coming with June 2025, yes, Android releases are now actually pushing very hard. We are getting a lot of new things, maybe in future, not so sure, but for now, you can enjoy Android 15 for sure. In case you're still wondering about Android 16, definitely not recommended yet. And also it's not available for other devices. It's not even available for Pixel devices through OTA as far as I know. If you're a Pixel device user, you wanna try it out on a device, what you can do is you have to move on to flash.android.com and then you can install this thing through Flash tool and definitely it will wipe your data. It will simply reset your device. So make sure to keep this thing in mind. Although it is not recommended for you because it is not having any major changes, nothing else for now. Maybe with the next update, a few of the changes and then we might see that new quick settings panel, which is a part of Android 16 uh, that might be included with the public beta version. So that is it. These were the things just wanted to let you know for the users. Yes, Android 16 is here with the new code name, by the way, Baklava, you can say. So yes, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.